Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you yet another way of creating app in Argo CD using custom resource definition. We've been looking at how to create apps using web UI. So we used web UI to create an app from a GitHub repository and then we created an app using a Helm repository by deploying a Helm chart through Argo CD. This time I'm going to show you how you can create an app. You don't have to log into your web UI and you can use custom resource definition, which gets deployed when you deploy Argo CD. All right. So I've got my Kubernetes cluster 1.18.6 and I've also got Argo CD deployed from my previous videos, kubectl minus n Argo CD get all. All the Argo CD components are running fine. I've also logged into the Argo CD web UI. I don't have any applications or I don't have any repositories added. All I've got is just one cluster, the cluster where I've deployed Argo CD. So when we deployed Argo CD, it also created lots of resources and a couple of them were custom resource definitely. So if I do kubectl get CRDs, so these two ones, the applications and the app projects are two custom resource definitions that were deployed when we deployed Argo CD. So we're going to use the applications. Uh, app projects are the projects. So if you go in here, that's the project. So we've got one project, the default project, and I can do kubectl minus n argo cd get app projects. So we've got one project, which is the default project. And if you've created, if you have created more projects, you would see them listed here. And the one we are going to use to deploy or create our app is this one applications custom resource definition. So but before doing that, I'm going to show you how it looks like when you create it from the web UI, we can take a look at the custom resource applications from from the kubectl command. OK, so I'm going to quickly deploy create an app from GitHub repository. It's the same thing that I did in my in my earlier videos in one of my earlier videos. So quickly, I'm going to create a repository. It's going to be git and the URL is https github.com just me and open source argo cd demo connect. Now let's go ahead and create an application. Create application, give it a name. Let's call it argo cd demo project default sync policy manual repository, the one we just added and the path is YAML directory in my GitHub repository, cluster, in cluster namespace, let's define, uh, let's create this app in the default namespace. All right. So creating that and we should be seeing it and it will be out of sync initially and let's sync it. And we should now be able to see them created in the console as well. So if I go to my console and do kubectl get all, Right, so Nginx pod is running service exposed as node port, so our application is running fine. So now I can do kubectl minus n argo cd get application. So now you can see argo cd demo. So that's the application we deployed from the web UI. And you can see that from the custom resource definition here. And you can also do kubectl minus n argo cd describe applications and the application name is Argo CD demo and it gives you details about the app itself. OK, so now we are going to use the same concept, custom resource definition, but instead of deploying it from the web UI, we're going to use kubectl command because application is now part of is also a Kubernetes resource, but it is a custom resource. So let me delete this app and then we will create exactly the same thing, but from the command line. So I'm also going to delete this repository that I added. OK, so we are now back to how it was before. I don't have any repositories or any app now. I can also do kubectl minus n argo cd get applications. We don't have anything. All right, so I'm going to go to I'm going to search for the the application manifest, um, a sample manifest argo cd declarate to app manifests declarative setup so here you will find a sample application so that's what i want so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to argo cd demo dot yaml 
let me paste that here all right so what we've got here app version is augur project.io slash v1 alpha 1 it might change in the future but make sure to check the documentation for the right syntax uh, for how to use your manif how to write your manifest basically it's the minimum the bare minimum that you need to be able to create an app in augur cd kind is application we are creating an application name i'm going to change that to argo cd demo namespace argo cd it has to be the application itself has to be in the argo cd namespace but the actual destination so this is where you specify which namespace you want argo cd to deploy your app to but this one this namespace is the namespace for this application itself so the the argo cd app that we are creating has to be in the argo cd namespace we've just got the default project so i'm going to leave that as default source repository is going to be my github repository just me and open source argo cd demo head revision and the path in my github repository where i've got all my manifests so it is the yaml's directory destination it's the the default Kubernetes server, if you've got more than one Kubernetes server added to your Argo CD, specify which Kubernetes cluster you want this app to be deployed to. And the namespace, I'm going to change that to default. All right, so that's all we need. And I'm going to do kubectl create minus f temp Argo CD demo.yaml so now if i do kubectl minus n argo cd get applications there we go argo cd demo application is there it will be out of sync initially so i'm going to go to the web ui yep so there we go we didn't have this application before and after running that kubectl command we've got this application so it's out of sync now i can sync it synchronize and it's about to start running and it's running now okay so kubectl get all there we go our nginx bar running fine so that is how you use crds to create app in argo cd that's all i wanted to show you in this video give this a try let me know if you've got any questions i'll be happy to help make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye